scope that might be able to do something to help themselves, give me a call. Uh, a lot of times I come up and just hear people out, see what they got to say, and uh, see if there's anything that I can help them help themselves with. So, okay. um, I don't know a whole lot about you, but I, I looked at your record real quick before I came up. Yeah. And, uh, is that you? Yeah, some from my ring. Yeah. Let me cut it off. Oh, yeah. Let me take them off, please. Yeah, because in an interview, you're free. Actually, I think I was my mother telling because she wanted to know what's going on too. Okay. Because I was supposed to be actually getting to my daughter. Where's your daughter at? My daughter's in Louisville. Okay. Um, they read you Miranda rights and you're out of the traffic stop, right? Correct. Do you understand all those rights? I understood, but I could. Okay. You, uh, before I ask you anything, do you want me to read those to you again and go over them with you again? And I, I would like to know what, what is it that I need to do. Uh, what is it that we need to do? You need to do a lot. Okay. Where, where I was getting at is I looked at your record and mm -hmm. there's no good. Mm -hmm. So I think. But in actuality, if uh, if the situation ain't man and this is. Well, I'm not here to play that game. If you want to play no, that listen, game. I'm not, listen, I'm not playing that game. This is what I'm telling you. I'm telling you that it's he is, and at the same time, like I'm gonna convince him to tell you whatever it is you need to know. Gotcha. Okay. Well, and and I appreciate that. Let's. I'll, I'll hear you out on that if you want. We can absolutely talk about that. But um, tell me why I'm here. What what I need to hear from you? Are you what what do you want to? Are you looking to help yourself out at all? Yeah, most definitely. Because I didn't have nothing to do with what went on. What went on? I really don't know what went on because I wasn't told what went on. Well, initially I went to my grandfather's situation and on my way back home due to the fact of I actually had with my daughter. And I was rushing on my way back home and got pulled over. And in the process of getting pulled over, you asked me, uh, um, was it you? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to pull you over. You asked me was there anything in the car? I told you no, correct? Mm hmm Okay, so you searched the car, you found something. When you found whatever it is you found, I put the glove compartment open. It's, you seen, correct? Right. Okay, so... It was behind the glove compartment. Right, but what I'm saying is I pulled the glove compartment open so if I knew it was something in there, I would have never reached for it at all. But, um, now that, regardless of the situation, it is what it is. So, what is it that I need to do to help myself? Where, where were you guys coming from? Indianapolis. Okay, and is that where you had the situation with your grandfather? grandfather. Okay, what what was going on with that? He died. Okay, you guys were up there for what? Funeral. You Wait, the funeral? Funeral. Oh, I didn't know that, okay. Yeah, that's the only reason why he rolled with me. Well, who, who's, okay. who's he to you? February. Uh, my dad's brother, he's his brother. Gotcha. Well, Alright. I, I, I went away from him a little bit there. You want me to read the Miranda rights again? So you understand? No, I just want to know what I need to do to help him. Alright, well before we go to that, let me just remind you about Miranda rights. If we talk about something, Kevin, you don't want to talk to me about it, you don't have to. Okay? okay. So. I mean, no one's going to yell at you in here or be crazy or or mm -hmm. men. We can talk to each other civilly. I mm -hmm. think you probably have a lot that you can talk about and you're very knowledgeable about drugs that I investigate. I'd love to talk to you about that. Mm -hmm. And you're in a position right now that I'm here to hear you out, okay? Mm -hmm. If for whatever reason you don't want to tell me something, you don't have to. Mm -hmm. You understand that? All right. So, back to your question as far as what you need to do to help yourself out. Um, you can start by being honest about what's going on today, mm -hmm. about how you operate, about who this dude is, why you're protecting him, uh, what you guys did in Indianapolis. Yeah. Why am I protecting him? Yeah. Like, wh what's his deal? Why are you no, trying to protect him? Reality, no, I'm not trying to protect him. Okay. I'm trying to protect myself. And now, while I was attending, because it's, it's not his family. My grandfather's not his family. So... Okay. While I was at the funeral, wait, 
playing all way. And whatever it was that he did while I was there, he did. And clearly whatever it was he did, you found. So what you found was No, what you found? It looks to be about a half perk of cocaine and about 11 ounces of heroin. Okay. So, I'm assuming that's what went on. Okay. Where was this wake at? You said where was the wake? Yeah. And then out this morning? Indianapolis Memorial? When did you guys uh, leave to head up there? Uh, initially, two days ago. Two days ago, you left where? Whoa. Okay. Now, where'd you stay when you were up there? We stayed at the uh, residence home. Approximately, where was that, that at? Downtown. So you guys have been up there two days ago, so today is Wednesday. You left Monday? No, we left today. When did you leave to go up there? That was... Uh, uh, two days ago, we left Monday. You left Monday? Okay. State of residence and... So he had nothing to do with the funeral or wake or anything? That was all you? Yes, sir. And it was your grandfather? Yes, sir. What was his name? Is the, you don't mind me asking, is that like... No, I'm just poking something. holes in your dog shit, sorry. That's all. You can't even tell me your grandpa's name. No, you didn't I stay in no hotel. I got you on a license plate reader coming over at 65 earlier today, going tripping up to Louisville. Or yeah. Indy. Going up to Louisville? Going up, up, to, to, Indy? up to Indy? Yeah, because we were shopping. Go ahead. Change your story. Tell me what happened. No, did you, you asked me if I was shopping, correct? Uh, go there, that's a lady. A lady? Yes, that's a lady's house. Who's the lady? I don't know the lady. Why were you there? You said, why was I there? I was there because of him. Tell me what happened there. Nothing, they just grabbed the box. He went on the porch and grabbed the box, honestly. Okay. 4757 Falcon Grove Drive is the address that's on the box. Does that look familiar to where you guys were? Is there a bunch of water around it in houses? Yes, sir. So you have to consider, give me a little credit, dude. I know you don't trust me. I know you probably don't like me, and that's fine, but I have don't, blame me for, don't blame me for a complete fool. I'm not blaming you for a so, complete fool. So I'm here to help you out. You don't understand that, but I am, because I think I could utilize you to do some good things. You're fucked one way. I mean, you don't know how fucked you are. Mm -hmm. There's an AUSA who I called on the way up here who is, can't wait to take your case, U.S. Attorney. Mm -hmm. Your case, you'll be booked today on state stuff, but you're going to have federal charges. Mm -hmm. Career criminal, because you've done this for God knows how long. You've got gun and dope charges. You've got gun and dope now. It ain't good. I don't know You said I got gun and dope charges? Mm -hmm. I hope you, you, you talking about Kentucky, right? Yeah, not up here. I'm not saying that's criminal history. That's where it'd be dismissed if you did your homework on it. I did not do my homework. I read your stuff on the way up here. Yeah, yeah. And I ran my stuff past the yeah. I'm attorney. Due to the fact that the situation of what happened with my wife, mm -hmm. and if you know, like that shit was in her name, and properties in her name, and all of that shit, all of that shit's ready to be dismissed, and I can call my lawyer to verify it for you. Who is your lawyer? Jared Hill. Jared and Frank Muscagney. So as far as Louisville, a whole lot of it you got explained, and this is where you beat and get explained too. What is the situation that I got going on in Louisville? Okay, gotcha. What about the two keys in Charlestown? You said what? Two kilos of in Charlestown. What you told us about? Oh, that's him. He's the one that got it, or he's the one that knows about it. Now he knows the dude that got it. But the thing is, this is what I was telling you that I can basically get the information from him to give to y'all because he's not going to tell y'all but he'll tell me well, we're not going to play telephone all night I mean it's, 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 this won't even be no all night thing like it, this could possibly be like a 24 hour thing and then Kevin you're not in control anymore I'm not never saying I wasn't you're trying to be no 
It's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that I can get it done for you within 24 hours. How do you know it's there? You said, how do I know it's there? Because you just got on the phone with the dude not long ago. Okay. How would you know about the call when you here? I just heard him talking about heroin. That some dude just received a package. And I heard him talking about heroin. And I heard him talking that he's supposed to be going to go pick up some. After I go home, he's supposed to be coming back up. Where's home at? My home? Mm -hmm. In Louisville. South Louisville. What's your address? 1422. 1422. Wordle? Yeah. So you're supposed to go home and then he's coming back up to get it. I don't know how much. But I know he's supposed to be going to go see the dude. But not only that, I know a few people in Louisville that he deal with. Who do you deal with in Louisville? You said, who do I deal with in Louisville? Like in, in all actuality? I'm uh, assuming that you're proclaiming that I still sell drugs, right? <laughs> or are you saying that you know I still sell drugs? <laughs> I'm saying you don't know what I know. I really don't know what you know. Right, so don't bullshit me. I'm here. Like I said, if there's any hope of you getting out of this mess, it's through me. Mm -hmm. If you want to tell me to pack sand, do I it. Sell, listen, if you want to know, I sell weed. What else you but sell? Weed, I don't care about weed. You talking about the little fit not charge? No, it wasn't even me. I'm not talking about charges. What could you uh, do right now? You don't want no fucking weed? I don't want weed. Right, so it, what, what is it that you want? Let's talk heroin. Okay, you got 10 ounces of heroin in your car. Thing. If you want heroin, that's your guy. Are you but getting I know it from I him? Get it from him. No, I'm not getting nothing from him. I don't sell heroin. I sell weed. And if you want to know where my weed's coming from, my weed's coming from a guy named Cheese. Do I know Cheese's real name? No. Have you ever heard of Cheese? I don't know. Cheese sell cocaine too. Where his, where's his phones at, Hey, They're all here. Do you mind grabbing those? <coughs> I'm giving you like a million opportunities here. This, what else do you want me to do for you, man? I, I came out here and I'm saying, listen, if you want to know where some heroin is, give me 24 hours and I can get you whatever you want as far as heroin. But it's going to come through him. So basically, um, and I actually, to be truthful with you, I got him on board. Because I, I, me truth, which I told him what I was doing. Due to the fact of, like, and if you do your homework, Maya McElroy, that's my wife. She just died. Well, she, we, we not really mm -hmm. logically married. That's one of the ring and I mean, that's, that's, that's my family phone. Which one's your dope phone? Which one's my dope phone? Your dope phone, your burner phone. <laughs> my burner phone's right there. <laughs> but it's uh, my dope. Oh, <laughs> yeah. uh, shit. Right, go get yeah. Nah, nah. Actually, it's right here. Oh. I, I'll give it to him. <laughs> I ain't worried about it. <laughs> like I'm some freaking idiot, man. I know I am. Go ahead. Yeah. Alright. So, family phone, nothing to, nothing to mess with. Keep that separate. Alright, what's your phone number on that one? Uh, I don't even know. I just got it. What's your number? I'll call it. What's your number? I got it. I can give you my number. What's your number? I said, what, what am I going to get the tape? Here? What, this one you got no sign call your phone. Do you mind if I show you how to get it on your phone? Go ahead. All right. We can, we can figure this out. You don't know the number to your own phone? No, I just got it, actually. Why'd you get it? My girl broke my iPhone right before she died. My other iPhone. Who so died? Like that. Your girl died? That's terrible. Yeah, she had a heart attack. Right. Sorry to hear that, dude. I haven't even used one of these phones in forever. I'm not hurt. If you can give me a second, I can call somebody and not have it read my number back to me. We'll get it. You want to mess with that? Why? So you're not a dope dealer, huh? Weed seller. Weed seller. All right. And the only thing you can do is through that dude. Most definitely. But I can do a lot through him. Like well, then my interest isn't with you. My interest is with Coke, weed, whatever. 
but the thing is, he's not going to tell you nothing. Well, he's going to look at the same charge as you are for what's in the car. To be truthful with you, he's the one that don't give a fuck. I do. You should. I mean, it ain't even. Listen, you can tell me you're going to explain that shit, but it ain't even. It ain't even really. You bullshit. As you say, I shoot it. It ain't even really it. It's just more of. A, I got five kids to take care of, plus my three, because my wife died. So it's eight kids. I don't have time for this. Well, this is the time you're going to make, because the time you're going to do on this is going to far. Your kids aren't going to see you, Kevin. You, no. you, you, you've not been in the fed system, dude. You, no. can, you can tell me all the shit you want about your state charges, and that's fine and well. But That's the reason why I'm trying to help you. Then um, let's start being honest. Let's talk, because my patients I are am being honest with you. Then. I don't sell heroin. I don't sell fentanyl. Okay. I don't sell crack. I don't sell cocaine. He's your man. But I know he's not going to tell y'all shit. But I know he's going to tell me. Uh, and just like I said, if you can give me 24 hours, like... Let me leave 24 hours. You got my home address. You're probably going to... Uh, we'll probably give you 24 hours. That's, not, give that's me, not the problem. What I'm saying is if you give me 24 hours, i give you what you want. How much ice are you selling? Who? Ice. How much ice am I selling? Mm -hmm. You went through a whole list of shit you don't sell. How much ice, how much pills do you sell? You forgot those two. I take pills, honestly. Okay. You. I take pills. How much ice do you sell? Then as far as ice... Ice is good. I can work with ice. Don't tell me about, you don't sell ice, let's yeah. talk about how many pounds of ice you and I can get, Kevin. So how many pounds of ice do you how need me to say it? How many ice, pounds of ice can you get me to help you out? I don't care what's going on. Is that what you want? You want ice? Yeah, let's talk about ice. But I'm going to taste it. <laughs> I don't mean to laugh. Show me a number in this but phone that's going to bring you ice here to Louisville. I want Mexicans. You want Mexicans? Yeah. Show me Mexicans in that phone, they're going to bring you ice. Yeah, ain't no Mexicans not at that phone, but I'm... I, uh, Okay. Oh, I don't know. Just give me a second because I just heard something like that. Think of it, dude. I'm saying, just give me a second because <laughs> I just heard, I, listen, I just heard somebody say, but see, the thing is, it's gas from. Owensboro. Okay. That was real it's cool. a guy named Seth from Owensboro. His number's in my phone. Can I look at it? Can you look at his number? Mm -hmm. I can give you his number. Let's look at it. Look at it. Oh, it's it's that one? All right. Cause he FaceTimed me. Put this way, No, he's not a Mexican. Okay. He's, a, he's a dude. Let me, let me make sure. Because he just. Wednesday. Yo, hit me up. Yeah, this is it. This is it. And he's in Owensboro? He's in Owensboro. Okay. He's supposed to be having 20 to 40. Pounds come. Okay, that's more what we needed to talk about. Now, as far as it go, I'm just deleting. What are you deleting stuff for? It's not deleting stuff. That's my voicemail. That ain't, if you want to listen to my voicemail, I'll let you listen to it. It's, it's, okay. it's my phone. I'm not going to delete. Kevin E. Smeitzer, if this is Kevin that's E. Smeitzer. I don't need to see that. I just don't want you deleting stuff because I don't know what on here is evidence. Okay? There's nothing on my phone is evidence. Well, there's texting with people about dope, right? No, on that phone, on this phone, if you want, not, not even that, it's not even dope. So, whatever. Look, you said you, what is it that you're saying that help a situation? How run ice, what? You're going to need kilos of whatever you can get. Okay, you said what kilos? Kilos. Okay, it says it's supposed to have 20 to 40 pounds. Perfect. That's over kilos. Okay, do you have any texting was said about that? No, but I can most definitely talk to Sid about it. Okay. He's in Owensboro? He's in Owensboro. Do you know him or what's your deal? I just met him. I just met him over my cousin's house. 
and uh, overheard a conversation because I know a girl. Basically, I was gonna be a middleman on the situation. Mm -hmm. I know a girl who can move a whole lot of ice, so I was gonna connect them to and collect me a profit. If you want to know the truth, that's fine, dude. Look, I'm but not prosecuting for any of that. No, I'm not saying no. And actually, tell me about it. I'm telling tell you about it. I was gonna set them two up, list me a price, and collect me a profit. Okay. But hands on with me, I sell weed. Uh, and the person who I get my weed from is cheap. Who's the girl? Who's the girl? Mm -hmm. The one who I was gonna connect mm -hmm. with? Nicole. Do you have her number in your phone? She right now I don't got a number, but I can tell you where she lives because she changed numbers a lot. What's her address? I don't know her address mentally, but I can tell you the area she That's lives right. at Barstown Road. Barstown and Town and Bill Smith. And she's the one that can move it? Yep. Got any texting with her? Do I got texting with her? Something that you can show me that you actually are telling me the truth about what you're saying. So you show me text with her, you talking, then I can say, okay, cool. They've talked about this. Uh, like, really, to be truthful with you, she don't talk, text, or nothing, but what I can do, I can show you, like, matter of fact, you can look up Nicole King, skinny white girl, uh, I've, I've had relations with her before a while ago, and that's initially how we came across, so I talked to her on some trying to bone shit, and come to find out, this bitch moved a whole lot of ice, and then, this was this was months ago when she said that, and then she said come about saying that, so I was gonna link them up. Gotcha. Where are your kids at? My kids is in my mom. So mom watches kids, all four? I got three kids. I thought you said you had four. No, my wife got five. I got three. And kids are safe though. I mean, you're here is why I'm asking. So kids are safe at mom's. My three kids though, but the five, no. Where the, but the five are being taken care of by someone, right? Like they're not waiting for you to come home? Yes. All right. All right. Fair enough on that. So you could act as a middleman between Big Stud and Nicole. Did they ever give you a price? You said give me a price yeah. yet? Not yet due to the fact that he's waiting on it to come. He's waiting on it to come? Yeah. Okay. And he said there's some Mex now the reason why I said said is because you said some best of Mexicans. Yeah. He said some best of Mexicans is bringing it to him. I like it. So, but the thing is, like as far as that situation goes, I think like the heroin situation, that's something that I can do through him and do fast. You know what I mean, as far as the said situation and her. Like, that's not going to be like no overnight thing. Yeah, I get it. Like, it's, it's going to be for, I have to wait till he get it. Then once he get it, then I have to reach out to her and then put them together. How do you know? What's the guy's name that's here with you? Dayron Mason. What? Dayron Mason. And I didn't just figure out his last I didn't figure out Mason throughout this because um, what one of y'all said Mason. What is he to you? He's my daddy's brother. That's your uncle. No, he's not my uncle. Your dad's brother is your uncle. Is your uncle? Yeah, that's my uncle. My daddy's brother's my uncle, but uh -huh. my daddy's brother's dead. He died on a motorcycle wreck. Okay. But that's his brother. So that's also your uncle. He's not my uncle, because the thing is, like, I, him, and um, they have a different. Is it different parents? Type shit. Yeah. Okay. So, but I mean, I, I get that relation-wise, but is he? A friend of yours. Like, we call each other brothers. Okay. So hang out with him? I mean, the dude you hang out yeah. with? Okay. So it's not like somebody you just met today? No. Okay. It's confusing a little bit, but uh, I think you've cleared that, that one up for us. How do you, you think that's confusing with me and him? Well, who... 
Who's the funeral for? Are, are we past the point that there was no funeral, or are we still with the funeral story? Nah, like somebody really died. Okay, who died? My grandfather. What's his name? The thing is, I really, like, I don't want him involved in this. He's dead. True, just the same way. I didn't put my, like, I didn't blast my girl's <laughs> name out there, and she's dead. <laughs> but you can look it up. I don't need to look it up. I so, what'd you go to the funeral in? Is this what you wore to the funeral? Or did you have, like, no. fancy clothes in your car? Yeah, I got clothes in my car. He, they can t there is clothes in my car. They're not fancy clothes. No, nah, they ain't fancy. Like that's <laughs> what's what's that that shit? No, that's his sweatsuits. I'm not arguing with you over. Blue jean shit. It wasn't nothing special. Okay. All right. Um, what else, Kevin? What what can you offer? What can you come up with? What is it that you want? I want you to give me something that's gonna keep me from indicting you. I'm saying, I would honestly say, like, I guess if you won't say it now, say it now, and I, I can talk to him to tell me what some bricks of heroin he is. Which perhaps I know he knows. And he knows my situation, so I know he'll tell me. What does that mean, though? He knows your situation. He knows that my wife just died, and I got to be there for my kids. Not okay. only that, my mama's not in good shape. So, with that being said, like, He'll tell me, I'm not saying that he's going to be with it, or he's going to agree with it, but he's going to tell me. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't agree with it either. I see where you're coming from. So you think he'll tell us to help you in your situation with family to keep you out of jail? Shit, not only that, to probably keep yourself out of jail. I don't know what the fuck he'll say. Right, we'll talk to him. I'm, I'm going to ask him the same questions I asked you about what you guys are doing and where you're going, and hopefully your answers match, but mm -hmm. I have a feeling it probably will not. But you have to understand, Kevin, all I'm asking you that stuff for is to try to establish some sort of credibility within mm -hmm. you. And I, I haven't done that yet. So why would I do anything for you? To be proof of which you only think I'd be an alpha is drugs, bro. I'm DEA. I don't care <laughs> about anything else. Drugs so, is it. Well, drugs is all we do. I'm saying, if that's what you want, that's what I'd be an alpha you. You can offer me the name of the, the street name of one dude and a Nicole King who's some skinny white crackhead. She ain't no... Just look her up. She's not no crackhead. She done been popped a few times. Do you have and an old number for her in your phone? An old number? Yeah. Well, let's look that up. Which one's it in? Okay, well, no, I don't have it, but if I call this number right here, I can get it. Call up. Put on speaker for us. Hey, Annie. What's Nicole's old number? Which one? Nicole King, boy. Well, I know that, but she has, she has a bunch of old numbers. The most recent old number I don't have, I didn't, never did have. Okay. She got caught. She changed the number again. Okay. And then she went on the speed after that, so. Okay, so what's her last number that you got for? 277 And uh, another question, she can she, she can move whatever anybody bring her, huh? Huh? She can move whatever anybody can bring her, huh? Sure. Right. Okay. Huh? I said she can move, like, on, on, on the clear side. She can move whatever anybody bring her. Probably. I don't know. I don't fuck with her. You don't fuck with her no more, but when you was fucking with her, she can move whatever anybody bring her. Yeah. Alright, so things haven't changed with the woman. Alright. Yeah. 
And I said that just so you know I'm not lying. Yeah, I got you. I hear you. I appreciate that. So that was the reason why I was going to connect with Sid and get my little profit. You know who the Mexican guys are? Have you ever talked to them or seen them? Or mm -hmm. Have you ever had any Mexican guys bring you dope in Louisville? You said I had any Mexican guys bring me dope in Louisville? Yes. That sounds crazy as fuck. Why? You said why? Mm -hmm. I don't like Mexicans. But if they have dope and you need dope, if they got everybody weed, can get along. They got weed at a good number, and I would buy it. <laughs> so hypothetically, no. Hypothetically, no. Go with me here. If you needed some clear, mm -hmm. could you call somebody that could have those dudes bring it to you? The Mexicans bring it to me. Mm -hmm. It's them or you, Kevin. I'm saying like it's it's it's, it's crazy because people don't introduce you to the they source. If you get what I'm saying. I know exactly what you're saying. Like, it's, it's kind of hard to say, let me meet your people. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Now, I could try. But you don't have any people of your own that you could have bring anything to you. Is it meth? Yes. Everything but weed. If you got anything that you can have. Pills. You got fentanyl pills? Tell me about fentanyl pills. No, I could probably, man. Yeah, okay. I, could probably get those. I could probably get a boatload of those for you. How could you get those? Uh, to be truthful with you, I don't deal with it. Look, let me ask you this question first. <coughs> it's shit that I'm telling you. It ain't going to say Kevin Smiles said this shit, is it? Depends. If you work with me, you're an informant of mine, I have to protect you. If not, we can do whatever we want with this. Nah, because look, like as far as this situation, like the dude that got the fit in our pills, yeah. He's a pretty big dude. Pretty and big dude is where we need to be talking, dude. I mean, now, I don't listen to me. I don't know his real name. I just know his street name. Okay. It's called Nap. 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 Yeah. But in actuality, he just got in trouble in Louisville and some of that ten kilos of cocaine. Feds do him or hell, PD? Nah, he's out. So I don't know what the fuck. It was him and three people in a hotel room. It was. It was like 10 bricks of cocaine, and I just heard this yesterday, so, uh, but him for sure, I know Nap, he got the fitting up pills. He got a whole lot of fitting up pills. Fentanyl's good. You know fentanyl's killing people, so my agency likes to get that off the street. You know what I'm saying? He got a, when I say a whole, whole lot, he got a whole, whole lot. Oh, tell me how much that is. I don't, thousands. Let me just say thousands. Can you get thousands, or do you know of someone that could get thousands? I could probably get thousands from him. You could get a thousand fentanyl pills from him. This dude. I can get them from that. Yeah. Only thing I, but the thing is, like, I need to, give me the cash. I can get them from. Okay. Yeah, I mean, that's why you're dealing with me. But at the same time, like you I said, cash. Listen. My name cannot be brought up because. Like, listen, I got I got eight kids I got to take care of. All that stuff would be something you and I would talk about down the road. But I'm, but I'm saying, like, I can't be, like, I can, I do it for you. It's not for me, it's for you. But I'm saying, go ahead. Here's what I'm saying, I would do it, mm -hmm. but I just don't want my name to be mentioned. Well, you're, you're in a position, position because if my name is mentioned, uh, there's a time scale in my life. Well, and that's what you have to decide. So if, you, if we were to do something like that, you would decide whether it's worth your prison time versus being out and possibly having some harm come to you. If we do that, I have an obligation to protect you as much as I can. Being an informant. If something happens to you, something happens to me. If, if I could just, like say for instance, and it's, um, just hypothetical, go ahead. If you give me some money, mm -hmm. I'm bad at pills from now, mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll get him, mm -hmm. and I probably like to get everything that y'all looking for as far as, because uh, yeah. he's actually the biggest person that I know personally. Yeah, actually probably get your little fitting out pills, yeah, probably some heroin and some cocaine and some more shit. I don't know, but I know for sure for sure fitting out pills and cocaine. And yeah, fentanyl's good. A lot of cocaine. What's the most you've ever bought off of him? Um, fitting out pills? Yeah. That shit kill you. What the fuck? I, I pop pills. 
Well, why do you take no fitting off? You know, not take. Have you bought off him before? Did no, you? no, I, I haven't. Why do you think you can get a thousand now? Because I've seen them. I've seen them with him. See, yeah. we're we're getting close to doing something here, Kevin. But don't. No, I, sir, I can't I, go I, charge I, you for something you I've never, I've never purchased none from him. Then but I have no confidence in you can get them. For I can't get them from due to the fact that that he's trying to deal with me. He's been trying to deal with me. Like, listen. What have you bought from him? Did you buy clear from him? I know. I don't sell clear. You bought cocaine. Listen, what? Have, you said he deals cocaine. Have you ever bought cocaine from no, him? No, I don't. Have, have you ever bought any him? illicit narcotic from him? No, I haven't. But I'm trying to tell you that he's been trying to deal with me, so I could probably buy all of that from him. After my wife died, him and my wife was close. Okay. Mm -hmm. After my wife died, he's been trying to holler at me on that level. Okay. Basically trying to get me to stop selling weed and start selling what he's selling. You know what I'm saying? Okay. How much so, weed are you selling? Like a little quarter pound. I break, <laughs> I break down quarter pounds. <laughs> I get I run through a quarter pound a day, if you want to know. Where is it at now? My weed? Mm -hmm. I'm out of weed. Out of weed. Where's your money at? My money? Mm-hmm. Do I need to go run up in mom's house and see if it's there? What are we talking about here? <laughs> nah, actually, mm -hmm. he got my money. Uh, where's Metro Restoration at? Where's the initial business? Yeah, what, what is it? I've not heard of it. Met, you ain't never heard of Metro Restoration in Louisville, Kentucky? No. Uh, Shelby Street. How many hours a week you work there? I said 30. I really ain't never thought about that, to be truthful with y'all. I looked at my check and looked at well, so you do get a check from there though? Yeah, by my godfather and my father, yeah. Who's your father? <laughs> Who's your father? Kevin Smizer. Same name? Yeah. The senior? Mm -hmm. Kevin Smizer. Yeah, he's a junior. You're a junior. I'm a junior, but my daddy's name is Kevin Smizer. Mm -hmm. So, what is, like, what is it that, if you don't mind me asking, what is it that you want? Nah, which, which, which one do you, do you want? What do you want said in that? I mean, that's a good start. Yeah, we'll, we'll talk about that. Um, which, um, this phone, is there texting on there that can prove any of the stuff you're talking about? Is not that them people don't text. Okay, so no, there's no text on here. There's text messages on there, but what I'm saying is those people don't text. Okay. Those people, like, got some serious money. Like, they not slow. And then that's that time you want to know why my phone's ringing is because remember I accidentally FaceTimed my sister in the car and she kind of heard what was going on. So my mother's probably worried about me. My sister's probably worried. Everybody's probably worried about me right now. Okay. I'm saying it probably don't make sense to you, but it does. But this is our time together right now. This this, this opportunity right. here, once it's gone, may never come back to you. That's why I said I understand okay. it, and that's why I'm willing to. Like, what is it that you want? What is it? Uh, well, we can go here and get this shit over with. Well, I wanted you to be honest with me, but that, that ship sailed long ago. It's be honest with you about what? Well, we have to establish some sort of trust if you're going to do anything with me. I have no use for you if I can't trust you. Because you're going to be out mm -hmm. playing games with me, playing me for a fool. Listen, okay. I ain't got it. Whether, I don't know how serious you are about your family, but I'm very serious about mine. Well, you're about to and say goodbye to them, Kevin. Yeah. Listen, you, if, if you, you want... tell me I'm full of shit, but you're going to find out. I'm saying it's all good. I'm not saying that you're not lying. What I'm saying is, if you want the people who you want, you may don't believe me. I trust in what I'm saying. I can... The little shit that you're saying, I can get. But we have to establish some sort of trust. Some sort of trust, and it's not happening. Wait, are you writing about the pills and everything? Yeah. That's one of cousin Philip. Okay. Which is another person that's probably trying to check up on me. 
So let's uh, let's try this one more time, and then I think we'll be done for today at least. Tell me about your trip today. My trip today, I went to Indianapolis, and obviously scored some dope. Okay, now we're starting to actually have a conversation. It's not that hard, dude. I'm not trying to put this on you. I'm trying to help you. Okay. Help yourself, Kevin. <laughs> I'm not a bad guy in this situation, okay? Trust me a little bit. All right. Trust me a little bit. Try it. I'm not going to throw it in your face. All right? I know how the game works. What went on today? And, uh, we went to Annapolis and uh, met his folks. He grabbed a box. Those are his people up there? Yes. Okay. Well, it was it the box with the address of the house you guys came from? Yes. <laughs> but I'm saying I don't know if that's the right address on that box to be truthful with you. I get you. But I know it is. By the house, there is a couple eggs. Yeah. And that's the truth. All right. Did you go in the house? No. Okay. Well, how'd it go? He said what? How, how did it go? He jumped out, grabbed the box, jumped back in the truck, and we left. Okay. Did you know what was in the box? No. How did it get back behind where it was found in the car? How did it get back? In the glove box area behind the glove box? He actually did that when I got out of the car. Like I seen him, like when I opened the glove box, as you was pulling me out of the car, if you didn't pay attention, I seen him moving. What were y'all doing when I stopped you? You, were, you dove over to him to the front seat. Were you trying to get the box out? Was I trying to get the box out? When I turned the lights on, what were, what were you doing? Were you I, told him get, I told him to give me the paperwork to the truck, but the paperwork was stuck. Mm -hmm. That's why I, whenever I finally pulled it, it ripped. Okay. How long ago... Does that make sense? Hmm? How long ago did you have the car, or how long have you had that? The truck? Personally, I had it for a couple of weeks. How long has my sister had it? I don't know. It's a rental, right? Yes, sir. Okay. That's got to be expensive. Paying all that? Mm, not technically, because we got family members that work out. So you get a family discount. Hmm. Yeah, because I couldn't afford a damn car for about a week. But I'm saying I, I got my own vehicle, so. All right. Uh. Okay, so... Me I do, I, I'm assuming I just told you the complete truth. Do you believe me now? Where'd the gun come from? Honestly, that part, don't know, because I didn't even know you had that on. Now, I'm not saying that I know, like, I, I know his son got his gun license. You know what I mean? But as far as him, <coughs> like, no, nah, I didn't know nothing about that. So if he was trying to hide that during the process, so uh, wh where did you find it at? Let me ask you it. It was behind the glove box with the heroin. Oh, uh, maybe he was trying to put that back into it. So where did the cocaine come from? I'm assuming the cocaine was in the box. How, big, how much cocaine? It's a half brick. Oh yeah, I'm assuming that was in that box. It was in the box that he picked up and that was. That's, that makes sense. Your problem, uh, we can go with that story. For, I mean, no, I'm saying uh, it's, I wasn't it's, there. It's the truth, I promise you. Right. So, how did the hair on and gun get behind where it was? Whose is that? The, uh, it's just his. Well, it's just his. Okay. But it's in your car, behind the glove box, the car that's rented to you, right? Yes, yeah, sir. So, I mean,. I'm not. I'm not going to grill you on this. It's not really for me to say who's is who's, but it doesn't look good for you. When I talk to him here in a minute, what's he going to tell me? He probably ain't going to say nothing to be truthful with you. So all we're going to have, as far as that immediate charge, is you saying it's not mine yet. It's in my car behind my glove box, and he says nothing. Cocaine, that, that's good on him. Hair on a gun, that ain't looking good, Kevin, on, on your part. Okay? It's just like and that's the reason why I, whenever I found a situation, found out the situation, that's why I was willing to help. I, I get it. I would, too. You got a lot to lose. I do. 
and I can't afford to be placed in no fucked up situations. But you're in one. I know, so now that I'm in one, that's what I'm saying. What do I got to do to get out of it? And I'm willing to do whatever it is that I need to do to get out of it. I'm going to give you a phone number when you leave today. And that's going to be on you. If you want to call me and keep an open dialogue with me and see what we can do, that's on you. If not, you wait honestly, until... Honestly, honestly, I just want you to tell me what it is that I need to do so I can get on it when I leave. You're going to pick up these phones and see what you can get. And I know you can. Okay, so... You call me... How much do you need and what do you need? Uh, there is no amount. It's not up to me. It's going to be up to my uh, U.S. Attorney's Office. With what they got you on, it's for them to decide how much. You know how many? Yeah, I mean, there, there, there is no quantity that we put on it because it's out of our hands. I'm saying, like, say for instance, I know Nap got everything. Say for instance, if I get Nap to expose me as so hand because he's been trying to deal with me. Mm -hmm. If Nap exposed me as so hand, and for instance, what if he do get 10 kilos of cocaine? And I'll let you know it, and I'll let you know where it's at. You're going to be buying it for me. Oh, shit. Yeah, you're not telling me where it's at. That, that'll help you. I mean, say you call me. Everything you do, if if and when you so decide. I, if, if I buy it for you. You're an informant, a DEA informant, a snitch. Call what you want. Nah, a little bit. Okay. You're in a fucked up position. That's what you're going to do to help yourself. Or you're not. It's very simple. All yeah, right, look. God damn. I, I don't like saying it any more than you do, dude. I, I get you. I'm saying, I, I just really want to point you in the right direction. Like, he got it. I hear you. And listen. And let y'all know where it's at. And listen. Uh, and then be done with it, honestly. If you get back in touch with me and tell me that type of information, I am then obligated to let the prosecutor on your case know that you're making attempts to help yourself. Okay? So that doesn't, I don't know what that's going to do for you. Yeah, you may uh, have to get to a thousand points. You tell us where something's at, let me just give you two points. All right. You, yeah. What I'm saying, if you do buys, that's more, that counts more points for your credit. But that it won't be like uh, like I can make a whole lot of buys. But what I'm saying is that won't my name won't be involved. That's what I'm saying. Your name at some point could come up. Yes. At, like like at what point? Years down the road, like when. Um, do you know what discovery is? Yeah, yeah most of the cases. Okay, so the federal system, we have discovery just like the state system. I'm saying I'm like say, <laughs> yeah, damn. Say so, okay, so what's going on with this case? This case, as it stands right now, is. I'm saying no. If I, if I do do what I'm supposed to do, what's going it's on? It's on hold. You're going to get booked in tonight, most likely, to a state jail here, Clark County Jail here just so we have record, because it's going to be, him and I will talk about that, but it's it's difficult just to kick you out on the street with what they got. That This case is, is going to be adopted federally by DEA. That's where it's at right now. What it does from there is on you. Sorry. If you if you blow me off, we just go ahead and indict you with what we have and, and, and go from there. If you mm -hmm. show interest in helping yourself, me working with the AUSA, allow you to keep doing that and we put everything on hold and then you're working to try to not necessarily get yourself out of everything but lessen the sentence that you're most certainly going to be getting so i'm saying what, what would it take for me not to go to jail period I'm, i don't i can't afford to go to jail at all you're probably going to go today regardless but that's only to go and, and bond out and i think that you can bond out with the amount of money that you have on you now i think you can use that to bond out tonight there will be no other county jail thing you do after that, okay? It's going to be fed time that you're you're going to be concerned with. That's 80%. That's what I'm saying. What, yeah. what is it that I need to do like to I not do you, that? Like I told you, man, you keep communication with me. But I'm saying, like, what type We don't get to decide that. The U.S. Attorney tells him when you've done enough, okay? And if, you know, if, it, if you do NAP and it turns into a huge case, you may be done. 
if you go with NAP and for every reason you do what I'm supposed to do, yep. that I won't go to the federal prison. I understand what you're saying. Then they, no, they will not do that for you. You can get with Frank and talk to the AUSA about that. I'm scared. Um, and they will, you can go through an attorney who will work for you, I guess, if you pay mm -hmm. him the money. Mm -hmm. and it, Be a mediator, basically, yeah. like you're working a contract. Yeah, but they're not going to. Okay, be, it's the same thing I'm telling you because there, there's no way they're going to be like, all right, he got caught with X, he needs to produce Y, and then he's out. It just doesn't work that way. So you're getting bogged down in weeds, though, because I have to be convinced that I'm going to work with you before any of this happens. Okay, so you're, you're jumping ahead a little bit. I think today we've probably talked about enough, and um, you're going to have a chance to get back with me if you want to you think about it, go home to your family. Uh, but you're going to have a heavy decision to make, um, and I'll, I'll be there waiting for you whether whether you make it or not. It's it's not any skin off my back, but I think just someone that has the opportunity, if you want to stay out and, and, and see your family, to work towards that. I really do. But the bullshit's going to have to stop. I mean... I know, so I just want to do whatever it is that I need to do I hear you. not to go to the feds. I, I get it, and, and let's... And if y'all saying that I can do some things to where I won't have to go to the feds, I just want that in writing. That way I can guarantee my freedom, if you understand what I'm saying. I do. And, and you can talk to, call your attorney about that and see what he can work out. Because there, there will be no, nothing from me on that end. So right. how will my attorney be able to work it out if... He'll be able to tell you that they're not going to put that in writing for you, essentially. I mean... So if that's not in writing, that means basically if I do work, mm -hmm. who's to say that that's really going to help? When we're professionals, when at some you point you have to put all your trust into so Special Agent Rakowski here, okay? You're going to have to trust him. I'm saying I understand that, but... I, mean, way, I know it feels like you're flying blind, the same way but he will guide you to where you need to go. You said I was bullshitting. Okay, boom. I went back. I told you the truth about everything, yes. okay? So. Parts of the truth. Nah, I told you the truth about everything. Right. Like, whenever we just went back and I told you that he picked up the box and all of that shit, I told you the truth about everything. Okay. And the, the little place or whatever case may be. But, um. Basically, after I'm done, or whenever y'all say I'm done, or whatever the case may be, am I still going to a federal penitentiary? Is the question. I don't know the answer to that. You may. It depends what you can do. Like I said, I'm not going to be the one telling you yes or no. We can split hairs about this, but it's not my determination. And then Does that happen to people every day? Yes. So they but work, they work, and they still go to the feds. No, they get, they both. So you, the difference with you is you've got a hell of a criminal history, convictions or not. You've got a propensity to have guns with you and to deal dope. I don't care what your convictions are. Mm -hmm. The federal system doesn't care. They do. Mm -hmm. But the, the the long and short of it is. But you said you said I got a history of dealing drugs. Charges for drugs and guns. Drugs okay. and guns. Yes. I only got one gun charge, and it didn't stick. Because the gun wasn't even mine, and as far as sure, drugs, Kevin, none of it ever was yours. Okay, uh -huh. none, none, none of that matters, matters right now. But like the stuff that you mentioned, the stuff that you're talking about didn't hold up in court. And I'm telling you, I don't care. They're not going to care about that. They are going to look at your case, and they're going to see that you're someone who does not have zero criminal history. Okay, that is different than someone who has never done anything in their life. you never done anything in your life and you get caught something one time, mm -hmm. very easy to work your charges off completely. You're in a hole. It's going to mm -hmm. be a lot tougher for you. And I will never tell you, never make promises that you would not possibly do time no matter what work you do. Because I'm not a liar and I'm not, I would never promise you that. So take that for what it's worth. We would do our best to go to bat for you and say Kevin did X, Y, Z. He bought this and this and this. He's been cooperative. He's been truthful. He answers his phone when we call. He does what we ask. And that goes a long way because we have a good relationship with them. 
So it's a lot to think about, but again, we're, we're talking about stuff that, that's down the road if it ever happens. So you don't know any name for Big Sed who's got the Mexican hookup in Owensboro, right? I can get his name when I leave. Out of this, no problem. What if you leave without your phones? Then I won't be able to get in contact with him at all. Okay. Actually, I won't be able to contact none of the people you're talking about at all. So it's probably a good idea that we let you take your phones with you? Yes, sir. There's a couple ways um, we can go about this. So you obviously have concerns about what is on your phone. This phone, do you have any texting on there, dope related, your weed or anything else? All right, so let's go through this one right now with me and we'll make sure that's the case and then you can take that one with you and we'll talk about the other one. Sound fair? Mm -hmm. There's two ways we can go about that. I can do that through uh, a consent from you or I can apply for a search warrant from that before that. It's on you. If you do a search warrant, you won't be able to take it with you. You're trying to look at my text messages? Anything that may be on that phone. Drug related. My text messages? Are there, I, I asked you, so there's not any text on there, right? Now nah, you're going to look on that. But I'm saying, is that what you want to see my text? Yeah, just to make sure that, that you're telling me the truth. <laughs> Mexicans. If it's a white chick, let's do the white chick. Is a black guy moving a bunch of fentanyl? Let's do that. I don't know what I need to do just to make it disappear. The case disappear, whatever it is I need to do to make it disappear. That's what I'm trying to do. Alright, good enough. So, you got to talk to somebody to find it out or something? Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's the thing. Is before I can even start, I got to go to that AUSA and say, because they know that I'm here talking to you because I told them, mm -hmm. but they don't know what happened. Okay. So I got to go back and that's what I mean. It's, All right, so so don't, nothing federally happens fast. All right. So look, if you could do this, if you could do this, could you find out? Because you said basically I'm getting booked in today regardless, right? On state charges. I'm yeah. not going to indict you right now. I'm not going to give you a complaint and take you to the, the courthouse in Louisville, the Fed courthouse. Okay. All right. If you get, I'm going to talk to Nate, and, and you're probably going to go through that booking and then get out right away, bond out, get your car, and go do what you do. Is and my, you, my car still on the highway? No, I told you that the record put me out right there off that exit. Saying, would they, are they going to release it to me? Yeah, I told him you probably called him that if you get out. Just call them. They, 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 I mean, if you call them in now, you're probably not going to go get it. You'll probably have to wait till tomorrow. Is there any way that you could take me there? No, because you'll be in jail, and I'm going to go home and start typing this paperwork. Okay, you can, if you get out, you've got cash, you can, you can call an Uber. And they can take you there. Kevin, I'm going to read you this. It's a consent to search for your phone. Okay, this is in lieu of a search warrant, so we can get you back in your hands and get you home with it. I have been asked to permit special agents of the Drug Enforcement Administration to search a, I uh, describe this as a gray AT&T slash Alcatel flip phone. I have not been threatened nor forced in any way and I freely consent to the search. Do you agree with that? Yeah, go ahead. All right, sign it for me if you do. If you want to read it, it's very short. So basically, I guess if I'm going to let you search my phone, I'm going to get to take my phone, huh? If we, no, if I'm not, I'm not saying one way or the other. What we're going to do, if you allow me to search your phone here, just look through it as we're sitting here. I'm going to give it right back to you, as mm -hmm. long as there's nothing on there that you murdered somebody or something <laughs> terrorist shit like that. Okay. <laughs> what I'm trying, the, the other decision 
that I'm going to make then is if, if you don't want me to do that, I decide whether I keep them or not as part of the evidence that may be on there of the crime that happened today, and I apply for a search warrant no for them. Uh, uh, the, the, those are just, yeah. The shit, the shit, the shit today ain't got nothing to do with you. Fuck that. There you go. All right, well, sign that for me right here, and I will check that out. Yeah, I was just going to go to it. Uh, uh, yeah, come on. Uh, give me some credit. But as far as my family phones, I got a whole lot of naked photos of my woman and my woman despair, so I really don't want So that's where the dope information is, then, is what you're telling me. I'm about to show you. I, I, no I, can't, I can't look, man. Right? I got to go through all that. We'll talk about that one. Relax, relax. You guys probably don't have to celebrate or, or hear someone that knows how to use it, do you? So uh, well, we have one, but he's you know he's not working right now. I don't know how to use it either. How did you get wrapped up in this shit, Kevin? Family? Friends? What wrapped up what shit? Dope. that ledger, the notebook, yep. right out there still. Fuck potato in her. Oh. Okay. Well, sure well, wasn't me. Mm. I'm assuming you implicate this as a drug ledger, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, I thought it was your math homework, but since you brought up drug ledger, let's talk about it. Nah, that's what you implicate. Mm -hmm. Like I'm not stupid. Kevin, this is why we need to cut the bullshit. Don't be coming out with me with you implicating. Nah, because unless you're out to get over it. I sense what you're saying it is, so. Yeah, yeah that's what I know it is. So yeah. why, why do we have to sit here and bullshit about it? Who cares? It's a right. fucking drug ledger with some bullshit amounts of money. Mm -hmm. Do you think I'm new to that? Mm -hmm. Give me something to. I'll just tell my phone. JD New. Was these some of the people you won't worry with them? You tell me, are they worth getting? Hell no. But no. Who's weedy? You said who's weedy? Mm hmm. And weedy's a guy from uh, Newburgh. What's his name? Hmm? What's his name? I don't know. Weedy. My Jeffrey? Mm hmm. I used to sell a lot of weedy up until I caught a case.
So I'm selling this shit. Seems like I'm gonna have to continue to sell this shit. But the good news is, you can do it to help yourself. But also, let me ask you this. What if he says it's just his? What if he's not admit to what it's his? Then what? It makes no difference to me. It's in your card, behind a glove box, an area that he doesn't have necessarily knowledge of. How didn't he have knowledge of it? How would he? Do you know what's behind other people's glove boxes? I don't. I'm saying if he admit that he put it there, because that's the truth. Which I don't mind doing what I got to do to help myself, but if he admits to what's his and what he did, then what? That's something that they'll probably look at. I mean, they have to look at it for that. But it's not going to change anything in the immediate time. Let me tell you how it works, Kevin. You're both going to be charged with it federally. You do what you need to do, or you take your time straight up. That's what we do all the time. He's not going to work. That's fine, man. I mean, so, what I'm doing, it, it don't help him? No, it don't help him. Just like what he's, if he wants to do something that's not going to help you. I mean, him saying that it, if, if he can tell me the truth about what you guys did and his story is good and everything checks out, then yeah, that's going to be a credible story that may help you. I don't know why. You can't tell me what was going on today. I mean, we have to go round and round about a funeral that is so far from the truth that it makes me want to gag. I mean, no, I'm not at the party. I'm not lie, though. You weren't at no funeral today. Not in India, anyway. The poor truth it wasn't a lie. The funeral part wasn't a lie. But exactly everything that happened, I just didn't tell you that. And I actually did tell you that after you said the whole drug situation. You the lighter on you? Mm, not yeah. I can't. We're going to have everybody want to smoke cigarettes. longer man will get you going I know it's a long day long day for me too and how's the binding system here can you like walk in and walk out so I can go get my stuff they don't want you there so, so I can walk in pay and leave as far as I know yeah uh, when you get there verify that but uh, that, it's better off you're better off doing that for me Quite frankly, too, the quicker you get out, the better. And it don't do me or you any good sitting up here. you're going to find out through this is that it's not like the state system. You're not going to fight this case for two years and, and have some bullshit thrown out. It's, they don't fuck around like that. I mean, so when you talk to an attorney, uh, he's going to tell you, here's what you're looking at. And uh, there will be no reason for you not to cooperate. Trust me. Okay? It, you don't have to trust me. You can trust if you pay for an attorney, they'll tell you that. It's a different system, man. It's, we, our goal is to get drugs off the street not put you in prison, okay? 
So I'm trying to see a situation that I can help you with, but I just don't want my name in the white paperwork to where I'm at risk of my family at risk. I hear you. Yeah, that's a completely understandable. I uh, get it. Here's what I think we're going to do, Kevin. Um, what's the number to that phone? Five zero two. Eight two one thirty six ninety six. How long have you had that one? Um. <coughs> Don't know. Okay. What's the pass? What's the password to this one? I'm the password. What, your fingerprint? My face. What's on mine? Is it an XR? Mm -hmm. All right. Here's what we're going to do with this one. If you want to do the same thing <coughs> with this one, I'll let you go home with this one. I shouldn't say that. What you mean? I'm deciding if I want to do a search warrant or consent to search on one of these phones um, and retrieve more data off of it because this one is just loaded with data. Yeah, um, it's a whole lot of family shit though. Yeah. Let me... Will you let me look through this one right now? I'm saying you'll be looking forever because that shit's years and years. That, that's fine. I'm not going to stay here forever. But do you care if I look at it? Right now. Look at it real quick. Well, what I, yeah. I'm not going to put a time limit on it, but... I'm saying as long as you, like, and please be respectful to this. I'm not looking like at I, I would never you. disrespect you. Like, and I got, like, naked photos of my woman and stuff like that. So if you want to go through the text messages, feel free. Okay. I'll, let's start with that. I'm saying I don't need to sign no paper, man. Go ahead. Well, you do, because that's how our system works. Yes, and I'm straight. Just go ahead. Hey, let me see the phone so I can lock it for a second. What's the password to it as well? I really don't sign up by my password, but there you go, sir. You can... All of these messages... These messages ain't open. They're not here. The messages open. And most of this shit's talking about am I okay for my wife now? Okay. You can open that. Messages which I ain't really talking about. And little Mike's a girl, I just disguised it due to the fact that my wife, man, and she was saying, you know, what she was saying basically, she over my head, I love you. You want to go? That's my son. What? I'm gonna say, you talking about? Oh, he's just gonna have some more because I'm supposed to be home. Okay, well, sit back down for me. If you don't mind, I will look at it myself. You're good with that one, then. What what kind of phone is that? iPhone hey. XR. I'm saying, hold on, turn it up. So, is this the only way for me to get my phones? Is for you to look through them? This is the question. Tonight, if if I look through your phone now and I'm satisfied that I don't need to do anything further with this. I will give it back to you tonight. If I look through this and think there's things on here, evidence of what happened today, evidence of previous stuff, um, then it's going to stay with me at least for the night. So don't, don't be making any decision based on what you want me to do on whether or not you get it back tonight. If you want me to look through it and give me permission, I will. If you don't, then I won't. That's really all you need to decide. What I'm saying is if I say, no, don't look through my phone, you're taking my phone. Yes. Right, so I'd rather you go ahead and take your sneak peek so I can take my phone back. Okay, that's, yeah, and that, that's your choice, but I'm not going to... Alright, here's what we're doing, Kevin. There's a million things on here. 
What? You said something bad today. Scroll down, let's go through our thing for today. No, I'm not taking all that time. I'm saying it ain't really nothing. Nah, nah, nah. This is what we was on the highway. I text my girl this. Twelve. This was just whenever we was looking at a house. Me and him looked at a house earlier. Yesterday. So boom. First thing. As you see, I ain't even read this shit. This is. Weeding, I text him. What's up with you, bro? Cause he ain't been picking up the phone. Mm -hmm. Alright, you're this good. You're good. Have a seat. Alright, I'm about done with that. We can chat with this uh, counterpart real quick. Um, if you want to, you can take the number and go through it, but I actually need that phone. That phone is very important. Okay, well, that's good. You said it's good that the phone is important to me? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I get in contact with my kids and stuff. Okay. And my mother, father, and the rest of them. Do you need a number out of there today? This is going to stay with me today. Do you need a number out of there right now that you can call the jail or someone to come help you out? Pick you up. Ain't no, <laughs> I'm trying to tell you, if you want to, we can meet up later, you can go through it. I'm not going to do nothing, and I'm not going to run from you, I'm not afraid of you, you can come to my mama's house, I'll give you your address, I'll give you my address. I'm not running, I'm not hiding. Here's the thing, Kevin. And then if you look at my background, I've never run ahead. But at the same time, like, I need that phone due to the fact that I need to stay, not only at, like, as far as my girl's burial thing, his information's in there, and I got to finish doing her shit as far as putting her in the wall. Like the yeah. phone's like really, you're not really deleting great. anything off of it. I know you're not deleting nothing off of it, but the thing is, like the phone's just important to me. I got shit to do. Not only I got people to talk you to. make contact with Mikeowski, you get your phone back. I'm not even. I would much rather take that phone than my other phone. Like that's my family phone. Okay. Do you need a phone number off of this one? You say what? Do you need a phone number here? Do you know that you can get a hold of somebody? It's a, I need a whole phone. It's a whole lot of shit that I need out of the phone. Okay. Tell me something you need out of it, I'll give it to you. If not, it's going to go with me. I mean, it's going to go with me anyway. But, I said, what's, I'll what's, what's the reason right you taking? I just said you can go through it. Like, I'm, I don't give a fuck how long I got to sit here for you to go through it. You can go through I it. I can't. So what's going to go through it is I'm going to take a snapshot of everything on this phone. All your texts. I know you've been dealing dope for a long time, Kevin. I'm going to prove it all right here. Mm hmm So... That's what I'm going to take. I don't care about all that. What I care about is you working with me going forward. I'm going to work with you, and that's okay. my word. Like, you probably don't trust me, but the thing is, I got more to lose than to not do it. Okay. I get you, man. Than do it. So, like, I don't understand what's, 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 your, what's your purpose, and you keep asking me to keep it real with you. It's like you not believing me, and I've been keeping it real with you. Okay. I'll let you take this one. Because I do have concerns about you being able to contact your family, and that's good. Like I said, you can keep that one. Just let me take that one. If I, you want plan, that one. It's, I, I want that one. If you, if you say, that's my family phone, G. If you think yeah. I deal drugs, that would be the phone. This would be the phone that you need. I'm not going to deal no fucking drugs on no iPhone. I know that y'all can have There's nothing to worry about. I'm not worried about you having my phone, actually. I just need my phone to talk to my family. That's how I just need my phone to talk to my family, though. And my girl. That's it. Do you want to give, give a card for him? Contact? Yeah, I'll put my number down. How do you want me to give you my number? Do you want to just write it? Write you down a piece me, of you paper? Can, you can give me a card. But what I'm saying is... I'm not going to give you a card. But I'll just, I don't have a card. I did, but you don't need to get caught with my card doing anything either. What do you mean? Well, somebody sees you with a DEA card in your pocket. That's not ain't nobody going to go in my pocket. Do what you will with that. It's going to go with you. Look, the phone I sell weed off of is a flip phone. 
if you really want to know. Nope, don't know want to know because I don't care about weed. Okay, well, if you don't care about weed, like, give me my phones. Like, please, I beg you. Call me tomorrow and we will talk about your phones. Sir. What bothers you so much, Kevin? You know what I'm going to find on that phone. No, I don't give a fuck. Go through it. Like, literally, go through it. I'll show you what you're going to That's the only reason I'm not, because there's too much information there. All the information is because it's phone after phone after phone after phone after phone. That's all it is. Okay. But if you think you're going to find some on it, look through it. I just told you I'm not going to sit here for hours and look through it. It's not going to take hours. We can, we, can, we, can, we can look through it and scan. Hey, we can it's not going to happen. He has the capability himself to go through your, to download your phone. He doesn't have to ship it off. He doesn't have to send it off anywhere. He has the capability in his office. You call him tomorrow, you, what, it takes a couple hours? Yeah, I mean, and you get your phone back. Yeah, but what you understand, and I guess what he's understanding is, when I get home, I got. I know you're going to have to get home. The fact of the matter is, and this is what you got to wrap your head around. You're not going to have, you're not going to have a phone for a, a, for a little bit. That's just the way it is, man. I'm sorry. And instead of throwing in evidence, Kevin, and leaving it there, I'm willing to give it back to you. I'm saying. Can I bring it to you and you do that? Please. You can bring it yourself to me and we'll do it together while you wait. Absolutely. It is 10.30 at night, okay? I'm saying, like, I'm assuming my business ain't even with you. It's with him. Alright. Out that way for me, please. So you're taking both my phones? I'm keeping them both with me for right now. So you take both of my phones, how the fuck am I supposed to get in contact with my son and my family and anything? Well, I'm assuming you're going to go right back down to their house, right? How am I going to get there if I'm in Indiana? That's what I'm saying, like, you can keep my flip phone, I will bring you my other phone. Alright, let's walk out here. Well, well, that's all details, man. Come on. So basically, you're going to just leave me in Indiana, like, on fuck me, basically? No. And if we need to make a phone call later for you, we'll do that. They'll make, let you make calls at the jail, too. I'm saying, yeah, they can let me make calls at the jail, but I'm saying I need my phones. I understand that. Walk this way for me. I didn't say that, I didn't actually say you can go through my phone. You can go through it, but I didn't never say it. I didn't sign no paper on that, so you can go no. through it. You went through it on your own. I won't get a search warrant. Well, get it. You can get a search warrant, but at the same time, what I'm saying is I didn't say you can go through it. Even though you ain't going to pass it.
Mark, you think for me? You know what? I have to call and get it. I don't know. I drew one. Keep it up. You're making money back today. If you keep it up, you're making money back today. 